Good evening, I'm your host Jacobo Garrido and welcome to this week's national news coverage brought to you by L28 News. Tonight we bring you the latest on three major stories impacting the country. Governor Gavin Newsom signs law that bans legacy admissions to SoCal colleges, NYC mayor charged in corruption case, and the Menendez family calls for brother's release after Netflix show. We begin in Sacramento as Governor Gavin Newsom made a historic move last week by signing a law that bans legacy admissions at Southern California public colleges and universities. Legacy admissions, a practice where children of alumni receive preferential treatment during the admissions process, has long been criticized for perpetuating inequality within higher education. Critics argue that it favors wealthier families who have multi-generational ties to elite institutions, often at the expense of first-generation college applicants and underrepresented communities. Newsom's decision is seen as part of a broader effort to overhaul California's college admission system, ensuring it reflects the state's diversity and prioritizes merit and fairness. During the signing, Governor Gavin Newsom stated, we need to create opportunities for students based on their abilities and potential, not their family's educational background. This is about fairness in our college system. The law, which takes effect in the 2025's admission cycle, is expected to have ripple effects across the nation as other states consider similar legislation. In a shocking turn of events, New York City Mayor Eric Adams has been charged in a sweeping federal corruption case. The investigation alleges that Mayor Adams was involved in a series of illegal activities, including misusing campaign funds, accepting bribes, and participating in pay-to-play schemes that benefited donors in exchange for political favors. The charges come after months of speculation surrounding Mayor Adams' financial dealings and campaign operations during his tenure as Brooklyn Borough President and more recently as Mayor. Federal prosecutors are building their case around evidence that Adams funneled contributions through various shell companies and gave lucrative city contracts to supporters. Although Mayor Adams has denied the allegations, the growing scandal has rocked New York City's political landscape. In a case that has gripped the public for decades, the Menendez brothers, Lyle and Eric, are back in the spotlight. The brothers, convicted in 1996 for the murders of their parents, have spent nearly three decades behind bars, but their family is now calling for their release. Renewed attention on the case has come from a Netflix series titled Monsters, the Lyle and Eric Menendez Story, which casts doubt on the initial trial, arguing that new evidence and the psychological trauma that the brothers endured may warrant revisiting the case. The Menendez brothers have long claimed that they were victims of severe abuse by their parents, leading them to commit murders in a state of fear and desperation. The series has sparked conversations about whether the justice system adequately considered the alleged abuse at the time of the trial. Advocates for the brothers, including their surviving family members, believe the public now understands more about the trauma and abuse than in the 1990s. The call for the release has ignited debates on the fairness of the legal system, particularly in cases involving high-profile media coverage. As the case reopens, we'll continue to keep you updated as the situation develops. That's all for tonight's national news segment here on L28 News. We'll continue to bring you updates on these stories and more as they develop. I'm Jacobo Garrido, and from all of us here at L28, thank you for joining us. Stay safe and good night.